BBC Radio 2 DJ Steve Wright has died at the age of 69. Leading fans of his shows including Steve Wright in the afternoon and Sunday Love Songs devastated. Legendary BBC DJ Steve Wright has died age 69, leaving his fans and those who knew him devastated. Known for his Radio 2 shows Steve Wright's Sunday Love Songs and Steve Wright in the afternoon, he was a beloved figure on the station. Despite his success, Steve's dedication to his work left him little time for personal romance. His marriage ended 25 years ago, and he admitted there was no time to find a new partner. In a rare glimpse into his private life, he told The Mirror in 2019, I work on an afternoon show on the BBC, and I do a love song show the weekend, and it means that I do a lot of interviews, and I prep a lot and I write a lot. So I have to work all the time. Steve was known for his quiet life outside of work, living just a five-minute walk from Broadcasting House. Despite being a regular presenter on Top of the Pops in the 1980s, he never sought further television fame, allowing him more privacy than most BBC stars. I don't do a great deal of TV so I'm not recognized much, he shared in an interview. He lived with his daughter Lucy and his son Tom was nearby. Steve's marriage to U.S.-born Cindy Robinson ended in 1999 at the peak of his career. At the time, Steve was spending three hours on air five days a week and two more on Sundays for his love song show. In 2022, after 23 years, his weekday afternoon slot was cut in a major schedule change. Sometimes people don't want you, Steve admitted as he left the BBC studios, but confirmed he would continue working at Radio 2. I've been offered loads of stuff at the BBC and I'm staying at Radio 2. What it actually means for me is rather than working six days a week, I'll be working maybe two and a half days a week," he continued. In 2019, Steve was named the BBC's fifth highest earning presenter, earning between £465,000 and £469,000 in 2018-19. In 2015, he attracted up to 8 million listeners. When asked if he thought he was indispensable, he simply said, No, I don't think I am indispensable at all.